Alright, so the next part that um, I've installed is actually the waist, waist joint. Now, something to point out is for the, this Daban set, you can see here you have to actually um, attach this yellow part to this. There is actually an insertion in there, but it was just so tight, and there's no way I could actually have fitted it in. So, what I did was I just cut off the back and actually just glued this piece in. Okay, so now I'm just going to install the and then finish up the waist yeah but I know it's okay and the skirts if you like alright so I've actually finished up the waist okay this is how it looks like yeah so now you should actually put the initial part that uh, from the spaceship, right? Connect it here. Right? Just fit, and then it actually goes in to the mobile suit stop. So once you put it in, it looks like this. So the chest part you can actually lift and then you can see the, the cockpit of the spaceship. Yeah. So the upper body, uh, hands and also the torso is run done. Next we'll be proceeding to um, fix the legs. It's not too difficult, um, I got one in already here. The, you just need to feel, feel it and then just maneuver and then press it in here yeah, and go in. Right. The next part is actually to um, put this in, but before that you need to then put another uh, of this in here first, so I'll go to that and show you this. So you get to put the one on the top, again here's the grooves, you just got to put it in and then after that this, this one will then cover it um, and then you will um, finish the second part, okay? I'll go ahead and do that. But it's a bit tricky, you gotta sure put this one in. Sometimes it doesn't close properly, so um, just just be careful. Try to get as close as the tight people as possible. Then these white parts, uh, these two white parts will then clamp it on. Okay, I'm gonna put that in and let's see how it goes. You got it in. The next part is required requires you to actually put a ring or stopper into this. So this part, the inside you actually bend it, you just uh, you gotta put this ring in, right? All the way in. So you, you can feel the the end. This this part actually connects to the leg, which is which is kind of like this part. See? So you gotta push the ring all the way until you can feel the thing and then it locks in. Yeah? Once it locks in, then uh, you're fine. Hmm? Then you just take a, yeah, you, know, you just have to uh, nip this this uh, this part off. Make sure you, you pull it tight, and then just cut it off, and then make sure it's uh, you clean up the this part uh, inside later on. Yeah. The next part re involves uh, putting this in here. Um, this will form the kind of like the last part of this. You make this and then um, put it at the end. This will actually be the part that connects to the leg here. So this part here, right? Then the very last one, you need to put this one in uh, and put this 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 last one in all the way up until it reaches um, the um, the hook area, yeah, up to here. Then after that, you need to uh, um, cut it off and uh, put another ring like, like you saw just now. Just, just put it all up to here. Right, to here. right then the other portion is then you have to, in the last part is to actually, um, as you go put this thing in, then this thing will then um, secure it in to hold that piece of plastic so 
this thing goes in and then you just uh, come to the so sometimes this thing you know gets stuck so you may need to use like a, a sharp object to you know, make sure you push the plastic in right so that when you when you put it in it doesn't get in the way so that's why I say this this uh, Thunderbolt not that easy there's all these parts um, that you need to make sure that you uh, stick in properly or else it will not connect all right the last part is another putting in out of another of the ring um, to more or less secure the last part this is the last of the plastics um, bags if you like that you will be needing to install so okay, this one goes right in here uh, pull it to the end and then it will you will see that there is a um, protrusion here or attachment you just again like the same you just make sure you push it uh, push it in You will be able to feel it. It, it holds onto that. Maybe you can use your fingers, fingernails to actually um, push it in. You may need a little bit of maneuvering um, in order to make sure that it's in. Um, and then once it's done, then you can uh, cut it off. And then you just uh, uh, clean up this area a bit. So the white part goes in. Such. So now the, the, the bit comes uh, really to almost completion. Okay. Then you attach some of these. Uh, here, like this one goes here. Look, this is like the back clusters. Attachment I already put it in earlier, so um, you need to attach that uh, grey part to the red clusters, and then it will all go in. Then the last part is um, just attaching the foot in here so this one you need to actually angle it it's not it doesn't go straight so you angle it and then here is the attachment in and then you just pop it pop it in clean up you can see the, the attachment um, here and such okay right so now comes the, the almost the last part of the leg um, which is actually attach, attaching the red parts onto it yeah fun part I suppose if you like <laughs> the red is actually quite nice um, the kind of like a maroonish type of color and then you then get to uh, also install the the main portion of the white or the lower part of the um, uh, the leg clean up you can see the the attachment key as such right so now comes the, the almost the last part of the leg um, which is actually attach, attaching the red parts onto it yeah 
Yes, in the fun part, I suppose, if you like. <laughs> of the white or the lower part of the um, uh, the leg so now both legs are done so I can actually attach and let this big guy uh, this beautiful Thunderbolt um, Gundam stand up so pretty easy just make sure that this is perpendicular and then you just put it in and Make sure it's tight and Here is the completed uh, Thunderbolt, just uh, the MS suit. Um, so the next thing obviously will be to build the shields and the weapons and all that and the thrusters. Uh, that will be part 2 of the video. Uh, just as a comparison, here is the RX-7. Uh, in terms of size, you can see um, that uh, how, how different they are in terms of sizing. Okay, um, the MG and this is the uh, HG um, RX-7 I believe this is the reborn kit if I'm not mistaken yeah. so just I don't have a turntable so just show you how he, he looks from the back yep and then side as well once the I built the, sh the shields and the weapons, I think he's going to look uh, amazing, yeah? Right, so obviously the Thunderbolt is uh, in a way a variation of the um, RX-7 uh, mobile suit in uh, different colours, yeah? You can see, more or less they look very similar but uh, some some differences uh, is definitely there well, obviously here all the thrusters and the legs are all different, the colour is different as well but generally you can see uh, more or less it is a rendition or a, a variation of the RX-7 okay so join me in part 2 of the video as I will build the shields and weapons for the Gundam Thunderbolt thanks guys for watching stay tuned